What's up guys, GT Husky here with another ATS video and continuing with my garage recap series uh, the next truck in the list will be the Freightliner Classic XL. Now I know I always say this is one of my favorite trucks but uh, well this is turning into one of my favorite trucks. I mean it's I don't know what it is, it's the looks, the sounds, uh, there's something about it. I mean it's a classic American truck, you know, the full sleeper, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. And now with these wheels that it's got, which are Freightliner wheels, they're a bit more modern, but oh my god, this truck looks complete, looks beautiful. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we will be pulling, I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm pulling, uh, let's see, no it doesn't say it's freight market job is in progress, I had to pick up my trailer. Uh, but yeah, it's one of the Jassy Cat trailers, so it's... It's a very nice trailer. I mean, it's kind of long, you know. Very, it's gonna look very nice in this truck. Uh, as for engines, I am currently using a Cummins engine. Uh, well, in game it says Cummins ISX, but the sounds, the sounds are from the Cummins 444 uh, that Karichi Bomb made uh, a long time ago. It's not the new one, but it's uh, an old, older version. I mean, I can identify it as that engine. I'm not sure, but anyway, uh, 13 speed. Uh, this uh, closer, uh, closer uh, gear range. Uh, uh, how do you call them? The well, I think it's the rear end, basically. I don't know, but yeah, the gears are a lot closer to each uh, to each other, or the, the final gear. Yeah, that's it. Um, I, I don't know if it's the motor that modeled the transmission differently, but I do feel like it's got a lot of pull, but not a lot of like. Uh, top speed and also if you release the the, the gas uh, the truck will slow down pretty pretty fast even with with the jake brake it's almost like using the regular brakes um, anyway I'm just babbling here so yeah let's enjoy the drive and and while wow, the sounds and the look of this truck which is again gorgeous
well there you go uh, another beautiful truck um, I'm gonna leave the link in, uh, in the description so you guys can give this truck a try uh, now I'm currently on the latest ATS, ATS patch which is 1.3.1 if I'm not mistaken uh, this truck just like the others I've shown you so far they are working fine the only one that I kind of like encounter a bit of uh, uh, problems with was the Volvo VNL 670 as you noticed in the video there was a lot of frame rate do drops and it's not only that but it's there's a lot of stuttering too sometimes like the game freezes for a second or two uh, that happens a lot with that Volvo so I really don't I mean if you are really picky with that you know uh, I really don't recommend it. Other than that, it's, uh, for me, it's working mostly fine. It's just in the big cities that it does that. Uh, this one it does drop the frames a little bit on on the cockpit uh, camera over here, like where you're going when you're going over uh, big cities. As you can, as you saw, uh, there was a part where my frames dropped to 44, uh, almost 40, less than 40, uh, when I was in, on the cockpit camera. Uh, but once you're out of that, I mean, it's fine. As you can see, my counter in the top left corner is really tiny, but if you set it to 1080p, you will see it. It does say 60 frames per second, and it will stay like that for most of the times, for most of the trip. Especially on the outside camera, basically, where it's, uh, the gaming gets lighter. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I enjoyed the sounds as well. I tried to use the Jake Brick as much as I could, because I really like how it sounds in this truck. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I would say give it a try, and thanks for watching another video guys, and I'll see you on the next one.